So the aim of the game is for the Blues in this pitch to score in the big goal and for the Yellows, as I said earlier, to move with the ball into the end zone and score um, in the target goal. Hi, my name's Ian Parks. I'm a youth coach developer and I also support coaches who use futsal. This session is going to be about moving with the ball and we've aimed it at a youth development phase player, so secondary school age, pluck an age group, under 13s, under 14s, that sort of age. But like all of these games, they can be played across various ages and stages. So in this session, we're looking for players to be brave on the ball, travel with the ball and look for spaces as they travel with the ball. Um, before they get it, I'll be asking them to, can they plan their route? Can they think about, before they get the ball, where are the spaces they might dribble into? During it, when they've got the ball and they're dribbling with that ball, I'll be asking them to think about fake and take. So can they fake to pass and take it themselves? And can they stop and start, slow the defender down and go again? So that's what I'm looking for when they've got the ball. And then afterwards, really important that we challenge them to keep concentrating. It's not done when you burst into that space and beat a player. You've still then got to either pass the ball or finish the action with a shot. So that's what we're looking for. In terms of the area that we'll be using, again, we're turning up to a, a full-size pitch, but we haven't got use of the whole pitch. We've only got a third. So I'm just going to put that third in here so that we know where we're working on our training night. I've said that we've got 14 players. Uh, I think that's probably appropriate for that sort of age group, what you'd expect by the time they're now playing 11 v 11. For this part practice, I'm going to do two games that are the same. So we're going to say 30 by 20, roughly. And then the same again here, roughly 20 wide by 30 long. In this end, we're going to have a big goal with our goalkeeper. Because I've said that at this age group, we've just got one goalkeeper now. At this end, because we haven't got goals, I'm going to put an end zone in, just here, and then a mini target goal. I appreciate some people might not have target goals. If you don't, in fact, I'm just going to set that back from the line just here. If you don't have target goals, you might just ask them to finish in the end zone, dribble into the end zone. But if we have got targets, the game will be dribble into the end zone and then finish in the target. This end, very similar to that, but we haven't got another big goal because we've only got one goalkeeper. If you do have another goalkeeper, you could just repeat that setup. But if not, end zone with the target goal, Again, just set back off the end line. Same here, end zone, target goal, just set back. So then we're going to ask them to get into teams of three. So three yellows there versus three blues. And then the same here, three yellows versus three blues. But because of the numbers we've got on the night, we've actually got an extra player. But that's fine, we're just going to play four versus three. So the aim of the game it's for the Blues in this pitch to score in the big goal and for the Yellows, as I said earlier, to move with the ball into the end zone and score um, in the target goal. Now, to link to our topic of moving with the ball, I'm putting in a couple of rules. So the first is I put a halfway line in and the rule is if you've got the ball in your own half, to progress into the other half, you have to move with the ball. You have to dribble over that line. So you can't pass to a teammate, you have to take the ball yourself. So that's the rule with the halfway line, same on both pitches. And as I've said, you have to get into this end zone to finish. And I'm going to say that once you're in this end zone, you've only got one touch to then finish. Again, trying to replicate that I've travelled with the ball, I've beaten a player, and now I've got to play a quick pass to a teammate. So to add competition and to make it fun, we're going to add a bit of a game within this practice. So the, the aim of this whole game is to score the team that scores the most goals in the big goal with the goalkeeper. So if the Blues win this match, 1-0 let's say, they've got one goal in that goal. The Yellows have lost, so they will come down to this pitch. Whoever won this pitch goes up to there. So for ease of colours, let's say the Yellows won it, they come up to this pitch. When you come to the top pitch, you always start to, to go against the goal or against them into the mini goal. And you've then got to win that game to earn the right to have a shot at the big goal. So if the yellows were to win this game, let's say they win 2-0, the blues would come down 
Whoever won this game would move up. Let's say it's the blues again for ease of colours. But because the yellows won, they now get the chance to score in the big goal. And I say it's the team with the most goals in the big goal that win the game. In terms of numbers, I said if we've got an extra goalkeeper, we just replicate that here. If we've got one less player, that's excellent because we've now got perfect teams of three. If you've got more than that, you would just play 4v4s as best you can. If you're in a real small area, it might be in a futsal hall, a school hall or something, and you've only got this small area, you might then just have to have two teams off and rotate them around. If the players find this too hard, then it might be that we move it so that we lock players into areas and that it's a 2v1 and a 1v2. That would just give them the opportunity to have a bit more time and space to maybe fake a pass and take it over the halfway line. We still then get our matched up play when we're in the other half. If they find it too easy, it might be we think about how we use this extra player. If this team were finding it too easy, we may just take the extra player and put it on a different team. Or if there's a player that's doing particularly well, we make sure that we match them up against other players that are doing well. 